Hey guys, I'm all back again. Welcome to day three in the life of the OnePlus 11. We finally got some interest for this phone, so I will continue the series. We're debating whether to keep going or not. Today I'm going to talk about 5G on this phone and how it impacts battery life. So I started my day at 8.35 a.m. Phone is charged up at 100% and ready to go. It is a Wednesday for me, so a typical work day. 10.04 a.m. doing a little bit of Pokemon Go. Phone's at 93% and by noon, phone dropped down to 72%. And when I'm sitting at my desk, I just have my phone placed on the wireless charger. Even though this phone does not have wireless charging for whatever reason, I just use it as a phone mount. So phone's basically just sitting there as I'm working and going throughout my day. For lunch, we have some leftover chicken, pork, and ribs. Take a picture on the OnePlus 11. This picture is a little foggy because the food is steaming, coming straight out the microwave. And one thing about the notification on the OnePlus is if you swipe to the left, it gives you the ability to snooze. At first I thought this was annoying because if you swipe right, then the notification just goes away. And you swipe left, you will need to swipe left again to get rid of it. So I think in the back of your mind, you basically have to retrain yourself. On the surface, this may seem like an annoying little thing, but at the same time, I do appreciate this new feature though because on Samsung phones and other phones in the past, I, I don't think there is a way to snooze. I remember looking for it, or maybe there is, this just isn't as obvious. Uh, sometimes when I'm going through my notification and I see something that I don't, I don't want to address immediately, but I don't want to forget it either, so I don't really want to swipe it away and then it will never come back. I do like this ability to snooze, which is pretty cool. I haven't utilized it yet, but I like the idea of it. We'll see if the idea of snoozing will make up for me having to swipe multiple times. I think maybe instead of swiping left to activate this feature, they should have made it made an option where you long press on it and then you can snooze on it. I think that might be the better approach. Intuitively on most phones, people swipe left and right just to make the notification goes away, but now there's low friction. It makes you have to think about the next steps. We'll see if I get used to it. But for now, it's just something to monitor on the OnePlus 11. And today, even though I'm at home working, I do have 5G running all day just to see how long it will last. 2.33 p.m., phone is draining relatively quickly, reaching 45%, calling my mom. And then in the evening, I went outside to turn on my snowblower. We did not get a lot of snow this year, luckily. So I had a snowblower full of gas. Not use. I'm not gonna complain by any means. I would rather not have to use it if I didn't have to. So with spring coming, I brought out my snowblower, turned it on, ran out the gas so I can store it away for the season. And then I did some sports betting. Pretty fun stuff with low risk. I will leave some links below if you guys are interested between FanDuel and DraftKings. I think in FanDuel they give you 50 bucks just for depositing $6 and making your first bet. Same thing with DraftKings as well. So pretty low risk there. You bet $6, they give you $200 worth of bonus bet. And you can bet on whatever you want. If you win, you keep the winnings. If you lose, you just lose their money. And I guess potentially your six bucks. So I do like the idea. I've been toying around with these more often. Keeping me occupied now that my fantasy season is over. In the evening, hopped in my car, drove to my mom's house. Currently using my Galaxy S23 with the dash cam app running. Good quality, still bright and sunny outside. And finally, when I reached my mom's house, I want to check the battery status because the phone is basically dead at this point, 15% or so. And checking the battery status is not this intuitive on this phone. I keep forgetting where it is. So every time I go into the setting, I search for battery, I click on the first three option, it is none of the above. For Samsung, whenever I search battery, the first option or something is always the one that I wanted. But I think on OnePlus, it is about the third or fourth option. So not the greatest battery life today, running 100% on 5G. We barely got nine hours of battery life and three and a half hours of screen on time. Started the day at 8.30, it died roughly around 5.30 or so. So if you're running around with all 5G, make sure you have your 80 watt fast charging around so you can boost it up in 20 or 30 minutes. But this wraps up day three in the life of the OnePlus 11. 
mostly just use it throughout work, have music playing in the background, tested 5G all day. So if you guys are curious, that's what the battery life is like for me on a low usage day with 5G on 100% of the time. Alright guys, please continue to support my Galaxy S23 series if you haven't already. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to cover with the OnePlus 11. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and see you guys in the next video.